And here's how you know when you need some kind of French drain system. See this standing water all the way in the back left corner, but it extends about halfway down the right side. Yeah, definitely need something going on over here. So probably put a little mini drywall in this corner right here, and possibly a small French drain. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a flooded yard with a French drain. You need to eliminate this water. As you can see here, they have all these pavers now in their yard, and they have the rock wall going around the perimeter when all the water can't escape. So when all the water runs off of their patio, it just goes onto the ground. They have the sprinkler system goes on the ground. There's nowhere for this water to go. All the water just ends up piling up now into this corner. So I'm using catch basins because she wants it grass back on top so we're not having exposed rock as we normally would so now I'm gonna have a catch basin over there in the corner and we'll have a catch basin here at the end drilling a bunch of holes into it to help it also better facilitate into the ground where it will hopefully dissipate so that way she doesn't have a bunch of standing water breeding mosquitoes nobody likes that at all so we're gonna be putting the pipe in the ground filter cloth then the pipe or sock the pipe then the pipe itself Put some rock in there, fold the filter cloth back over, and then filling it all back on top with dirt. So let's get to it. And here we go. The drywall is now complete. As you can see, I got below the Bennonite gray clay area in there. You want to make sure you get in there to the sand. That way it makes it easier for the water to dissipate through it and drain back into the ground. If it's sitting on top of the clay, it's just going to sit there and take a long, long, long time. Eventually it will go through, but nowhere near as quick as you want it to do. That's why you're installing your French drain to begin with. Next part, time to filter cloth and pipe it all. You see this stuff right here, this gray stuff? That's like the really, really sticky, like Bennonite clay, Play-Doh stuff. That keeps the water from being able to penetrate into the ground. And as you can see, it's just sitting on it all. But that right there is exactly why you need a French drain is because the ground underneath sucks and it won't drain. When installing a French drain, as you can see, all the gray stuff is the crap clay that won't let it drain through. But underneath it right here, you see the sandier stuff. This is what you want to be able to hit to. So that way the water can drain through it and not be stuck sitting on top of it, waiting forever to try to drain through that hard, thick clay. So please make sure you're doing a French drain or dry well, get to the sand table. And now I have it all filter cloth. As you can see, everything is filter cloth up to the dry well. And I am putting the catch basins in. But before you put catch basins in, people, please make sure you drill holes on the bottom of them so that way they can also leach water out into the ground. And when it builds up enough, it'll go into the pipe and go do it the way you direct it. But you always want to make sure you have holes in your catch basins. Very simple to do. Just use a paddle bit and put holes into the catch basins. Now, when hooking up the catch basins, you don't want to just put the catch basin straight into the pipe because it doesn't fit. It's all loose. It goes all over the place. So what you want to use is a coupling. A coupling fits perfectly inside, nice and tight. Nicely tight in there. It makes it so that when you put this together, doesn't have all that wobbly room. That's how you want it. And you have the catch basin lower than the ground so that way the water builds up here, goes into the catch basin, goes straight into the dry well. Normally this would just be all exposed rock, but since she wants grass going back here, you can't have it exposed rock and you have to have catch basins instead. And once again, I have the holes drilled inside the catch basin so that way when the water goes in, it will come in, be able to drain into the dry well. And here we go, have it all piped up, have the catch basin set up. Holes are in the catch basin on the bottom to help drain into the ground as well. So when it builds up, it goes in, holes on the pipe are down, so that way the water can still try to seep into the ground 
and when it builds up to a point it'll be moving along because if you had it upside down and the holes on the top you would have to build up four inches before the water would actually move to where you want it and also on this system as you can see by the level I have everything going downhill towards the dry well but instead of this being an exposed rock we're going to be putting filter cloth back over it and they're gonna be putting dirt over it hence why I had to use catch basins but as you can see you got it going downhill here and then all the way at the end at the end still have it all going downhill so the water builds up goes in we're going to the back of this catch basin that I have at the end and also any water building up on the ground will be able to go in here and I also have holes in the bottom of this catch basin also so that way the water comes in builds up goes straight down and immediately can start filtrating in back into the ground into the dry well so that's how it is now just to get some rock and here we go now it's all filled up with rock as you can see I have the holes in the bottom drilled so that way the water can drain into the ground as well but it's going to build up some go into the perforated pipe go all the way down to the dry well into this catch basin perforated pipe with the holes in it it's going to go out and drain straight down into the dry well and that is how you fix a flooded yard with a french drain now to put the put the cloth back over then they're going to get brand new topsoil and sod It'll all be complete. And here it is. This is the finished product. Got the filter cloth over it. Everything going down. I even have it. So I have the filter cloth inside here, a piece. So when he puts dirt and sod back over, he doesn't have to worry about it going in and filling in my pipe at all. And at the end, when everything's done, just pull that up, pull the filter cloth out, and that's it. And here we go. Here is the finished product. We have the catch basin there we covered up with some little bit of rocks which is just fine the water can filtrate through that very easily all the way over here in the corner above the dry well we have the little rocks as well on top of the catch basin grate and that works just perfectly fine this is exactly how you fix and eliminate water from flooding your yard with a french drain and mini dry well another job well done by jersey shore drainage solutions as always like share comment subscribe and until the next one, and if anyone was curious at all about all the pavers back there, yeah. make sure you call up my boy Joma with Pavers Landscape. He does steps, patio, walkways, hardscape, landscape, does it all. Make sure you give him a call.